Good morning. Eh, unajua kwa Kristo will begin. Muko sawa? Kuna mtu mwenye shida? Kila mtu wako hapa. Okay. Uh, a very good morning. Are you ready now? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you. You know this is Easter time. A friend of mine sent me a very encouraging uh, text this morning. And uh, he says he has a reason. He has reason. And that is Jesus Christ himself is no no longer in the in the sepulchre of the grave and therefore we have reason to rejoice those of us of the Christian faith uh, at the resurrection of Jesus Christ and having borne all manner of our sins and kwandugu uh, islamu we continue to say ramadan karim jana jioni tuli fanikiwa sana na team tulipotoka upande wa lunga lunga tulienda kwa iftar hapa katika markas uh, mosque in uh, indiani uh, tumshukuru sana coordinator wetu by piano shake uh, bana mpishi na wenzake na mnaona kama tungekawia siku nyingine mbili tatu <laughs> kikundi kingekuwa kikubwa leo tuwafanikiwa speaker wa bunge ya machakos ame catch up na sisi na weshimiwa hapa mnamjua mheshimiwa Kitui West mheshimiwa uh, Mashako kutoka kule kwa milima ya, ya Taita Taveta undanyi na pia tuna mheshimiwa kutoka Makueni ama Susan Kiamba Mheshimiwa Nyanze um, and of course our brother here we have also some team from Kitui County led by the majority leader eh waheshimiwa tuwashukuruni sana kwa uvumilivu wenu na hali ya kujitolea so this morning we want to talk to you about four subjects two or three subjects ya kwanza ni report ya nadco ehe alafu ya pili ni juu ya fertilizer fake <laughs> yeah, tatu, we want to talk about freedom of independent media. Na vile sasa tumeona a deliberate attempt to claw back on media gains and the freedom of expression. Ya yeah, ene is on corruption. Yaani imekuwa sasa is a, is a daily thing. And uh, so tulizungumza jana juu ya ripoti ya Nadco na vile kwa maoni yetu jama tayari imeundwa hatujui kama imekamilika lakini hata kama imekamilika tunataka wajue tunajua mtu anajitokeza ameundwa properly aelekee mahakama huko Kiambu asimamishe ripoti ya Nadco na hali ripoti yenyewe ni property ya bunge. Bunge tayari, bunge la Senate na bunge la Wakilishi National Assembly walikuwa wamepitisha wakakubaliana na recommendations zao report. Sasa ikasalia tu uh, the enabling legislation haswa juu ya IEBC. Wakati tulikuwa tukiendelea na mazungumzo kule Bomas tulikuwa na habari kwamba kulikuwa msukumo mkubwa msukumo mkubwa kiambiwa msipo jihadari msipo jikakamua umejua kuna jamaa ameenda kwa mahakama eh nia yao ni kujaribu wakimbize mambo yao iwe ni Kenya kwanza peke yao ambao watakaweunda tume mpya ya IBC hilo halikubaliki na kama wataendelea na hiyo route bila shaka 
tutajua kwamba wameamua kurig elections hata kabla wenyewe kufanyika and Kenyans are fed up and tired of election rigging Kenyans who come out the Senegalese in the recent past <laughs> pekemea hawa watu wa Kenya kwanza Bomet Kericho wa Kenya tayari wako kwa mitaa so, this time itakuwa ni, ni viongozi wenyewe kujiunga na wananchi lakini kabla hiyo fanyike bado kuna nafasi nafasi ya kuonyesha kwa mara ya kwanza kwanza kuna nia njema ya kujaribu kutekeleza kikamilifu makubaliano ya National Dialogue Committee bila mtu yeyote kujaribu kuleta uhasama huko katikati so hiyo ni juu ya nadiko kwa kidhubutu kuweka makamishi na wao kufanya nini na ndio mimi jana nikasema sasa ni jukumu jukumu la wale ambao waliteua kamati ya nadko aso ndugu Raila Amolo Odinga na mwenzake Rais William Ruto wao wao wajitokeze watoe mwelekeo bila kusita kwa sababu tutaona kama walitutumia vibaya wasipofanya hivyo Uh, sasa mambo hii fake fertilizer hii imeendelea sijui kebs sijui nani we would have expected kama kuna nia ya kupigana na ufisadi wa aina hii na ijulikane kwamba Kenya kwanza walikuwa na two pet projects ya kwanza kwamba ni fertilizer eh tena ingawaje imetoka urusi na wakutaja <laughs> eh, sema sasa bei imeshuka kutoka shilingi 6500 sasa ni shilingi 2500 kumbe ni fake kumbe ni fertilizer imechanganywa na, na, na mafi ya ya, kom, ya punda <laughs> maajabu ya mawe sijui kama ni limestone mengine yafanana so kweli kungekuwa na nia tena ya kupigana na ufisadi na hii waziri usika angekuwa tayari ame, amepeleka barua yenyewe kujuzulu that is what other people do in democracies if indeed we still pretend we are democracy in this country juu ya swala la umuhimu wa uhuru wa waandishi wa habari wana habari kama sio washikadao hawa ambao waliaza mmoja akasema kule kwamba sasa hii hii ni serikali ya stakeholders. <laughs> Pengine waliwachukieni wakati huo kutoka wakati ule. Na hali twajua kwamba Mungu alituweka sisi zote Kenya hii wa Kristo wa Waislamu wasioenda kanisani <laughs> wa hin, wa Hindu wengine tabaka mbali mbali. Inchi yetu ndio hii na kwa hivyo waandishi wa habari wanapodhulumiwa ni dhuluma sio tu dhidi ya waandishi wa habari wenyewe mbali pia Kenya nzima tumeona tabia basi kupeana paid advertisements because that's how you make your money the media owners media owners unikubali nseme royal citizen kwa mfano walikuwa upande wa azimio they didn't fear it they have their right to express themselves sasa wao lazima sasa because the biggest media house tukubali lazima sasa wadhulumiwe wavinyiliwe eh sasa paid advertisements ndanda kwa kina nani star lazima tuulize mshikadao wa star newspaper ni up what is the level of circulation ya hiyo star newspaper hey jameni nation media vile vile dhuluma dhuluma hampati lolote ni umefika wakati waandishi wa habari na nyinyi mwelekee kwa mitaa <laughs> kama wa Kenya wenzenu madaktari tayari yuko kwa mitaa madaktari hawa kama ambavyo nitangulia kusema so pengine wataanza sasa kwenda individual against them against kila media person uhuru wa, wa, wa magazeti uhuru wa kutoa eh, kufanya expression 
kama vile uhuru wa maandamano uhuru wa kujiunga na vikundi uhuru wa kupiket uh, tutaki tena kurudia article 37 ya katiba yetu 2010 kama sio katiba 2010 injinge kuwa mahali pabaya sana chini ya utawala wa Kenya kwanza ingekuwa mambo mengine kabisa lakini bado tuwakumbushe kwamba kuna katiba ingawaje wengine waliipinga lakini bado ndio iliwazuilia hawa wangekuwa pengine hawajafikia huko saa jambo hilo la mwisho basi ufisadi ufisadi kila mahali ufisadi sasa tumeona jama ya ufisadi mwingine hali ya juu sana so kama